to yeah. meet with you. Uh, 可以了哈。你就让你你你前面有一个有有没有一那个那个那个草会挡住啊？挡住他的脸。呃，有一个有一根。好。哎呀 ，sorry。<笑> OK， so right。嗯，可以啦。OK， so we are very honored、uh, to meet with you. And、uh, maybe could you tell us、uh, well, one momentous turn in your life? <laughs> uh, the most important turning point in my life. Was when I was 25 years old, and I was sitting in a cafe in Bangalore, in South India, and I read in a newspaper that a great philosopher in England called Bertrand Russell, at age 90, was put in jail because he was protesting against the nuclear weapons. When I read this, I said to my friend who was with me. I said, "Here is a man of 90 going to jail for peace in the world. What are we doing, young man, sitting here drinking coffee? We must do something." So that was the inspiration to become an activist, become a, a peace maker,、uh, join the international peace movement. And so my friend and I decided that we must join the peace movement and go to Moscow, Paris, London. And Washington, four nuclear capitals at that time, and so、uh, with my friend, whose name was E. P. Menon, and I、uh, went to see our teacher Vinoba Bhave, and he said that if you are going for peace, you must go without any money, because、um, wars begin in fear, peace begins in trust. So if you have money. You don't need anybody to trust. You buy everything, but if you have no money, you have to trust people to feed you, to give you shelter for the night, and look after you and help you. And so my friend and I started from the grave of Mahatma Gandhi in 1962, walking through Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iran, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Georgia, Russia, and went to Moscow, walking. And then from Moscow, we went to Belorussia, Poland, Germany, Belgium, France, and then we took a boat uh, to uh, to England, and then to London, and then we met Bertrand Russell, and then we sailed from England across the Atlantic to New York, and then we walked from New York to Washington D.C. So we started from the grave of Mahatma Gandhi, and we ended at the grave of John F. Kennedy. So that was eight thousand miles, which is about thirteen thousand kilometers, walking without money for peace. So that moment of reading in the newspaper in a cafe in Bangalore about Bertrand Russell changed my life. But、uh, everybody reads the newspapers every day, but nobody would, would, would take such radical action.、Huh? Because of okay, so there must have been something in your、uh, childhood or in, your in my childhood. I was a Jain monk.、Uh, a J. My family comes from a Jain religion, J A I N Jain, and in Jain religion we give great importance to non-violence. And then I was inspired by Mahatma Gandhi, also non-violence and peace. So non-violence and peace was very close to my heart. But when I heard and read in the newspaper that a great man who was a Nobel Prize-winning philosopher, writer, 90 years old,、uh, very aristocratic, and he's put in jail, that became a great inspiration. So already I was. Uh, interested in non-violence and in peace and in disarmament,、um, so uh, that um, reading that paper somehow inspired me, and so I said we must do something. <laughs> Could you tell us some stories of this、uh, long, long journey?、Uh, in this long, long journey,、uh, I was giving leaflets about peace、uh, to people, and in Armenia.、Uh, I gave this leaflet to two young women, and they read the paper, the leaflet. Say, really, you have walked from India all the way, and so they were working in the tea factory. So they invited us to tea, for tea. And after we had tea, one of the women had a brain wave. She went out of the room and came back with four packets of tea, and she said that. 
please give this one packet to our premier in Moscow, the second packet to the president of France, the third packet to the prime minister of England, and fourth packet to the, pri uh, to the president of the United States of America. And tell them that this is or no ordinary tea, this is a peace tea. And when you have a thought, a mad thought of pressing the nuclear button, please stop for a moment and have a fresh cup of peace tea. And that will give you a chance to think um, and reflect and not to use the nuclear weapons. And so uh, we delivered these packets of peace tea in Moscow, Paris, London, Washington uh, as a peace tea. So that became a great symbol of delivering peace tea to the world leaders uh, to maintain peace in the world. So when did you arrive? After how long? Uh, all together uh, it took two and a half years. So from Washington DC we went to Japan and we again walked from Tokyo to Hiroshima because Hiroshima was the first uh, city, uh, the victim of the nuclear uh, weapon and therefore we made another pilgrimage for 45 days and then we took a boat and, and the Japanese people helped us with the ticket uh, to take a boat and we took a boat to back to India. So that two and a half years. That's really so inspiring. Thank uh, you. But uh, later you were also persuaded to stay in uh, the UK. Yeah. Well, um, it was your wish to return. I, I met a very wonderful uh, spiritual and holistic ecological economist called E.F. Schumacher. He wrote a book called Small is Beautiful and after him we have named this college because uh, the spirituality, Buddhist economics, Small is Beautiful, ecological economics, those were the inspiration. And he persuaded me to become the editor of Resurgence magazine at that time in 1973. And so because of that, I stayed in England and now I have been editing Resurgence magazine for the past um, uh, 41 years. And, and then during this time, I started a school in uh, North Devon in England called the Small School for Children to learn not only academic subjects, but also learn life skills like gardening, cooking, building, pottery, furniture making, so, so that you are skilled when you leave the school. And then I uh, helped to establish the Schumacher College here in 1991. And so uh, we have been going here nearly 24 years now. And here we invite people from all over the world to study holistic uh, um, way, uh, holistic philosophy, holistic science, holistic economics, all subjects we learn in a holistic way, but also practical. People who live here and study here, they come for one week or two weeks or three weeks and then they cook together, they wash up together, they garden together, they live like a community. So it's a learning community we have established at Schumacher College. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. You are welcome. Uh, I was afraid to keep you from the um, eight No, we have got, we got perfect time. We've yeah. got? Perfect time. Yes. Perfect but time. Maybe could we tentatively um, uh, arrange to meet uh, on uh, December the 6th? Yes. I'll be back to Hong Kong. On, I'll try. I'll make sure I'll be back in Hong Kong on the 5th. So can you write, yes, to, write to, to Andrew or yes. to, you know, Pinhan? Pinhan. At Kaduri Farm? No, but I, I, I could write yeah. to Andrew. Write to Andrew yes. and say and that see. keep some time because he will make my plan. Yes. And so say keep some time for you on the 6th. Yes. <laughs> okay? Lovely. Thank you very much. You are welcome. <laughs>